Hey, hey, what's up, loungers? I'm just sitting here getting ready for, well, not our podcast, because this is actually set up for a podcast already. We're having a challenge that we're going to be doing. We haven't done a challenge. I don't know. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Tom? It's been a while. What was our last challenge? I don't even remember what our last challenge was. That's a challenge right in itself. What was our last challenge? Anyway, we got to move all this stuff. We're going to get the table out over here. We got a group of people coming over to the house today. We got, uh, well, we don't know everybody that's coming. We think we do, but we're not sure. So in this challenge, Tom's not going to be in it naturally because he has to work the camera. But it's going to be me. It's going to be Joe, naturally. It's going to be Jesse. It's going to be Brian. It's going to be Nick. And we might have, I was told Mikey Mance might be coming, so he might be in it. And Jesse's girlfriend might be here too, so we might have seven people. Not quite sure that's going to be in this challenge. We just know that Tom's not going to be in it. Correct. He also has to set it, kind of set it up, and nobody can know what it is. So I wanted to show you guys real quick what this is about. Matter of fact, this video isn't the challenge. You're going to have to wait till next video to watch the challenge. But here you get to see a little bit of a uh, teaser. Yes. What this is called is pizza roulette. I'm sure you can probably tell by that bottle and the fact that it's bright red. When it, it it's going tell. to be the ghost pepper pizza roulette challenge. And what it is, is Tom's going to take a slice of pizza. Imagine the pizza here. We didn't order it yet. We have to order that closer to the time when guys get here. Um, he's going to peel up some cheese. Put nice ghost pepper sauce on it. Yeah. I haven't even tasted this. I don't really want to taste it. I think Tom's going to taste it for me, right? And uh, no. Well, that's not fair. You know, I'm sensitive. I got a sensitive stomach. All right, well, then neither of us taste it. Um, yeah, I have to taste it. I'm going to taste it because I got to see how hot it is to see how much you should be putting on this. I don't want to kill somebody. Oh, yeah. Um, so anyway, he's going to dump that on there, put the cheese back in there. We're probably going to put it in the oven a little bit just to, to get it looking like it should be um, so then what you do is you have it in the box you have all these slices in there and everybody goes in there and grabs their piece eats it and whoever gets the hot pepper or the ghost pepper you could technically say they lost but we're gonna put a twist on it we're gonna do it so that the person that actually gets it if they can finish the whole thing is the actual winner is the winner and they're gonna win some money now it's not like the old days, because if it was old days and I was making really good money on YouTube, I'd be putting $100 down so that would um, be a little bit more of an incentive for them to do it. We're going to see what we can do. I, I'm going to probably be only putting like 20 bucks, But I know some people that will do that for 20 bucks without any problem, Joe. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do that. I think everybody's going to try it, because who, who doesn't want 20 bucks, Right? I, would you eat it for 20 bucks, Tom? No, obviously not, because if he would, then I'd probably be holding the camera and he'd be doing the challenge. But here's the thing, guys. In this challenge, you could actually prank them all. And you could put hot sauce on every single one of them, or maybe half of them. Right? Well, if you're just going to call it out like that. What? Nothing. Anyway, you could do that, or you could just put it on one slice. Now... Me and Tom have been talking about this, and we're going back and forth. We're not sure what we're going to do yet. We might just actually prank everybody and have, have it a massive prank. It's not like you're going to know. That would absolutely suck. I better get some kind of hint where that slice is. Like, you know, it'd be real easy to say, uh, Dad, 3 o'clock. And then I know 3 o'clock is the slice to take. Ah, oh, but how do you know that 3 o'clock isn't the slice not to take? Why would you do that to me? If you do that to me, I'll punch you square in the face. That would be funny. That won't be funny. Yes, I'm it will. I'm going to knock you out. It would be hilarious. And you it's know. not hila hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it, it, it kind of gives you a lot of options. And I'll tell you what, after the prank is over... You guys should hit me up in, 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 in the comment section or on Twitter and let me know if you guys try this challenge because I'd love to see how you get your, your friends, whether you're going to get them with one slice or you're going to get them with all the slices and pr turn it into a prank or a challenge. 
up to you. I don't see, see what, what it is about this challenge where I heard about it is this is actually going on in Japan. Domino's is actually doing this. They're, you're going in, you're ordering this. It's a Halloween thing right now. They're making this pizza and they're putting hot ghost pepper sauce on just one slice. And then you're getting this pizza. Nobody knows what slice it's on. So you're just eating this pizza until that one where you're going to be on fire. Now I know a lot of people out there, they're like, oh, it's hot, hot sauce, like big deal. It's not that big a deal. Like you guys love hot sauce. Well then. I mean, it's ghost pepper. I, so I think that that crowd is a lot more thin. But, but there are still some people that absolutely would love that. So I think that that should be right up your alley to do this challenge then or, or prank or whatever you want to do out of that. Cause I think it's a great idea. Um, we're going to set that up when we, like I said, when we get the pizza, the hard thing is going to be is to peel the cheese back and put that because you don't want to, when you first get that pizza, you know how like gooey the cheese is. That's yeah, not we'd have to easy. wait until the cheese solidified. Hopefully yeah. we won't tear it. Yeah. And so then we'll do it. And that's why we're, we have a pizza stone that we'll put it in the oven. You could just actually just put it right on your, your grate of your oven, turn it on, um, either low or just put it on 350, but just put it in there for a couple minutes. Cause that's what we do when we preheat our pizza in the oven. Preheated pizza in the oven is the bomb. Never use the microwave. Always use the oven. Correct. Tell them. Microwave, no. bad. Oven, good. Yeah, because it's entirely different. So it's like rubbery when you get it out of the microwave. Apparently like on a frying pan is also good, but yeah, we don't really have large frying pans for that. I mean, yeah. we do, but yeah, like. We, yeah, we don't have large frying pan. What the heck's this, Tom? And I have one like twice or three times the size of this. Well, I usually like to have like three slices. This is why I don't let you talk on videos. Okay? Just zip it. Zip it! Anyway, guys, I wish Tom was doing this challenge. I would I would just crack up if Tom got the hot slice. Uh, it would be really funny. You sure you don't want to switch, Tom? All right, he doesn't want to switch. But so that's what our plan is tonight. And like I said, I know that Brian's coming. I know that Jesse's coming. I don't know if Mikey Mance will be here or not. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool if he is here, and I don't know if uh, Ashley's coming or not. That'd be kind of cool, too. Um, but we're, So we're going to have a whole group of people trying this. The only thing I don't understand how to do is, like, who picks the first slice? You know what I mean? Like, you, if you have seven slices there, who goes first to pick it? Because everybody's going to want to grab a slice right away, right? I don't know. Or do you pick an order or just, just let everybody just go in? That's up to, I guess, the individual how they want it. Um, I'm thinking that we rig it and Tom tells me what slice it is. And then I go first by saying oldest person gets to choose first. I think that's only fair. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so that we can figure out that out. But that's what we have going on today. We have this massive challenge which I'm really excited about. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a huge video. You guys will love it too when it actually comes out, especially depending on who gets the hot sauce. If it's me, you're just going to see me run off screen and probably start crying somewhere or, or whatever and throwing up because I almost threw up on the ghost pepper to begin with. It's that bad. I don't, I don't think this will be that bad because I was reading the ingredients on it and it's really, it's not all ghost pepper. It has habanero, which I absolutely hate. I don't. I can't even stand the taste of habanero. But it has carrots, um, vinegar, some some other stuff, uh, lime juice, salt, garlic, citric acid. It actually sounds pretty good, but uh, but it does have ghost pepper, and that's not good. I don't even know what bujolaki or whatever. That, oh, that's ghost pepper. Oh, it's a different name for it. That's kind of scary, that name. But anyway, so I don't know how hot this is. You can tell by looking at it, it has other stuff floating around in there. So I don't know how hot it is, but I do have another hot sauce too, that if I taste it and it's not that hot, I got a really hot sauce in there that I'll, I'll put on it. Um, and Tom, you're gonna tell me where it's at, right? Like seriously, like say it on the camera. Hold it, give me a camera. Tom, you are gonna tell me. I thought I wasn't allowed to speak. You are now. Oh, is that what? Oh, now I can speak. Now I can speak. Oh. Anyway, you are going to tell me, right, where the slice is. Mm. Tom. Mm. Tom. Mm. Tom. Mm. Tom. Mm. Tom. Tom. Mm. Tom. <laughs> Tom. 
here. Yeah, I'll probably tell you. I don't know. I don't trust him at all. So you guys probably figure out that it's probably going to be a fair and square challenge. And I have really bad luck when it comes to this kind of stuff. I guarantee I picked the slice. Guarantee it. Which is not going to be a great video because I'm just going to probably just walk off the... That'll be funny enough. Yeah. Besides, I'll be actually piloting the camera so I can follow you. So that's our that's our whole plan for the... Uh, I'm telling you, I'm hyping up this video because I know it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge, especially... I pray that Joe gets it. I pray that he gets it. Can, can, I, that's, I was trying to figure out, can we rig this thing so Joe gets it? I don't know if we could other than just putting the hot sauce on every slice. Or at least half the slices. How funny would that be? But then I'm not giving $20 to everybody. That's... No, screw that. I'm not giving $20 to everybody. Besides, the main point is that once you've... It's not like you find it's like, oh yeah, this is the hot one. Oh, oh no, you, you gotta eat in. the whole you thing. You gotta eat the whole thing. That's the other thing. You gotta heat that, eat that whole slice if you want that $20. Right. Which is going to be hard to, hard to do because, Tom, you're going to load it up, right? Mm hmm Okay. So there you go, guys. Anyway, stay tuned for this. It'll be out. We do a video every other day, so, Tom, you're not putting it out back to back, right? You're going to put it out two days from whenever you're seeing this video. Right That's now, how we guys. normally do it. Okay. Um, and if you see me on Twitter, that means I live through it. So that means <laughs> I'm probably pretty good. Other than it's going to be lit. Other than that, I just want to say that I always forget this at the end of our videos and it sucks. It's all Tom's fault, not mine. Of course, because everything's my fault. But we always forget this, that guys, we're also on Storyfire. And I suggest that if you like our videos that you subscribe to us on Storyfire. And we got go stuff there that's not even on YouTube. Yeah, and we have stuff, we're putting stuff up on YouTube now that had been taken down off of YouTube. Because... Because Story Fire is actually cool. Yeah, and, and we want you guys to see... It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Story Fire, but it's cool. Yeah, okay. I want you to go back to not talking. So, anyway, what I'm saying, guys, is that there was videos. There was a couple of them. We just did the Kiki Challenge. We just put that up there. We did that, that video well over a year. Get the camera up. <laughs> um, we, did it, we did it well over a year ago. Um... It was, uh, might it, was it two years ago? It might have been. It was last year. Was it last year? Yep. And we, we didn't hit it right when that trend was going off, but it wasn't that far afterwards. And it got demonetized and taken down. So we had to re-put that up on Storyfire. And there's a couple other videos that we have that we're going to put up on Storyfire that got hit. That's the only place you're going to be able to see it now because it'll never be able to go back on YouTube. And we've been making content on Storyfire. We're going to continue to make content on Storyfire because I believe and everybody on my channel believes that that's going to be the next big platform. That's going to be the place to be at, guys. Artistic expression. It's a good thing. Yeah, because we can actually do videos that we want to do. We're not going on TikTok and making stupid videos about dancing around and singing. Even though we have a TikTok account, we tried it for one video. We're not feeling it on there. We just think it's it's that's a juvenile-ish site. A lot of you guys might like it. Forgive me. I don't mean to step on your toes. I don't believe that it's the creative place that we want to be at, me and Joe. Um, and and Tom and, and the rest of us. But, hey, if it's your thing, that's fine. It's just not our thing. So, you're going to see us just doing, going back and forth between YouTube and Storyfire. And if you want exclusive videos that we will only have on Storyfire than YouTube, then you need to go on Storyfire and check them out, guys. How do you get there? Links in the description. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say that, but Tom said it for me. Links in the description if you guys want to check that out. I hope you guys, like I said, watch this video that's coming out. This will be on YouTube, though. And uh, and if you guys are saying, well, why can't you put it on YouTube? Because we have to get paid, too. We have to be able to make money for these things, too. And it's not that we're not going to get paid for... Storyfire, Storyfire isn't big enough really to, to pay us yet with our views or anything like that. We got bills to pay. We got bills to pay. So we got to put our, you know, some of the main ones on YouTube. But the stuff that we want to create that is edgier or YouTube fun. won't allow or it's fun in our eyes or whatever is going to be on Storyfire. Check it out. Well, I think I babbled on long enough, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Okay. Well, guys, until next time. 
Grab yourself some cold drink, put your feet on, relax. I'll meet you at the lounge if I'm still alive after this challenge.